All right, welcome back to the last part. Um, this is the last part of the data processing, and uh, we're going to prepare this and then finalize our data set. And now we will move on. After that, we will move on to build our application like um, we saw earlier on. Okay, so um, let's let's get started with this last part. Um, if you, if you see the um, the application, the demo that I showed you, if you scroll all the way down here, you see that um, we have some comments, and then we are predicting whether the sentiment in the comment is good or is bad. Okay, whether the uh, sentiment in the comment is good or bad, and uh, this is the part. This is what we are going to use to do that. Okay, this is the part of the data set that we're going to use to be able to predict that. And I'm going to use two um, different kinds of libraries for that. I'm going to use what is called Stopwares, and then I'm going to use uh, what is called TFIDF Vectorizer. Okay, these are the two libraries that I'm going to use, which is going to help us um, do that, right? Then finally, I'll use um, Naive Base to make the prediction. Okay, so I use these two libraries, Stopwares and then um, TFIDF Vectorizer to work on the comments, right? To work on the comments, then I use um, Naive Base to make the prediction. Okay, so that that's basically what I'm going to do over here. Now, um, let's let's. So these are the libraries, right? That I'm going to use. Um, if you see here, right? You see that I'm using NLTK, right? NLTK is a library in that I'm importing right in Python and then I'm going to download what is called stopwares. That is what I showed you earlier on stopwares, right? Stopwares are nothing but um the awareness that we frequently use when we are in a in a conversation, right? Um I will I will show you I will show you um down here. Right. Uh I'm also loading one more live uh, I mean one more data set over here which is called reviews.tst. Right. This reviews.tst I will load it on your platform for you so that you can easily assess it, right? I'll either give the link over here or I'll load the data set over there. Right. So if you're watching this, I'm sure by now you should have access to this, right? Because right after this video, I'm going to load it over there for you to assess it. Okay, so um, uh, that is um, the data set that I'm loading over here and it contains reviews and then comments, right? Reviews and then comments over there. All right, now um, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use this stop words that I am loading to work on this comments, right? To work on this comment. So um, as I said, the stop words are nothing but some words in English um, language that we say commonly right so when we're speaking there are some words that we say commonly uh, for instance someone can uh, if you're conver having a conversation with someone the person can mention where a word like so right s o so so many so many times okay and this things does not really have uh, an impact in the conversation but it's it's still a flavor in the conversation but we want to remove those things we want to remove those things out of it um for instance if let me let me actually show you something over here uh if if i i, I say she is a girl right? if i say something like she's a girl right something like this now if you look at this if you look at this this thing over here um these two things is and then a uh, right these are stop words these are commonly used um words in conversation but the main thing here is what she and then girl right if i know she i can match she with girl okay i can match she with girl. so even if this one is not there even if this one is there, it's not there i can still say that she implies girl right i can still do that right and you still understand that or can say she is equivalent to girl you can still understand this one, okay? So I can base if I see she, I can predict she. I can predict that the person is a girl, okay? So that that's why we we just want um we want to get rid of all those um I mean those flavor words that I mean flavor letters or words that we have in the in the in the in the conversation, right? So that the data set can be on point. That's that's what um. I mean that's what we have in 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 English. I mean stop words, right? That's what we have. So um, let me delete this part. Um, let me do this and then delete it. Okay. Now let me show you. Let me even show you what is inside that stop words. So if I do this and then bring this stop. Remember this stop set contains a uh, unique words in this in this stop words, right? That's why I'm using set over here so that I'll get the unique. 
um, words because it can be a repetition of that, right? It can be is 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 is, but I just if it is it is um there are a lot of is 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 in there. I just want one is. That's why I'm using set because set contains unique um set of items, right? So if I show you what is inside this top words. Now you see that, you see what I was saying, right? So someone can be saying so, so, so many times, but we just want to get rid of that, right? Now, the, the example that I gave you, right? I was saying that she is a girl, that I'm saying that we can get rid of this she, this is and then a, right? So this is and then a becomes a stop word. So if you go all the way down here, um, is, is, and then a should be part of these, um, these stop words. So let me go all the way up here. Now you see that we have a here, I mean here, right? We have a here to be part of the stop word. So we we are going to get, I mean, we are going to get this a out of the sentence, right? So if this sentence is part of the comment, right? If there's a in this comment, it's going to get rid of it, right? For this time, this um is, this is over here, right? This is over here is going to be stripped off. Right, it's gonna this a over here is gonna be taken off. Right, it's gonna be taken off over here. Right, something like that. We want to get rid of um, things like that. Right, um, for instance, this was the stuff like that. We just want to get rid of th those things and then get o get only the main idea over here. Right, only the main idea over here. So you can see over here, if you go do it, I see an um and any uh. Uh, and and those kind of things as those kind of things all of them is going to be stripped off right is you see that the is is here as part of it right is 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 in isn't and all those kind of things we want to get rid of that so that, that's what we're going to apply this top uh words on that, right now um let me go all the way down here so uh, in order to apply that um, stop words i need to create this vectorizer right so that's when i'm going to need this tf idea vectorizer that's the library that is going to help me apply the stop words right on my um data set right and we're going to apply it only on the comment right? that's why I'm over here i'm doing x and then i'm applying this vectorizer that i created over here right vectorizer dot fit transform right so it's it's like um you are doing fit transform to transform your data to a different um, form like we use um standard scalar to scale our data so it's just the same concept right so fit transform and then in the data set i'm only selecting the comments part because we we are not going to do it for um let me get rid of this one it's making we are not going to do it for this reviews. We're only going to do it for comments, right? Reviews doesn't have any words in there. We're going to do it for the comments, okay? So that's that's why over here, um, in the data set, I'm selecting the comments, okay? Then I apply the vectorizer to fit transform it, okay? To, so that to be able to remove those stop words for me, right? Then um, now over here, as you can see, I am separating the data set, right? So. Uh, this X is going to contain the comments that, ha that has been transformed and then the Y is going to contain the reviews. Okay, don't forget we have reviews and comments. So the comment is going to be named as um, X, right? The comment is going to be my X and then the reviews is going to be my Y. Okay, that's what I'm doing now. All right. After that, I'm going to save this vectorizer, right? I'm going to save this. Um, vectorizer that I've created. I will use it later on to transform all the comments that, that will come, right? Or any comment that will come, I'm going to be able to transform it, okay? Because this one is, um, we're going to do it live. So when you get the data live, you need to be able to transform it to live and then do the prediction as, as it is, all right? So that's why I'm saving it over here. So I'm going to name it um, transform.pickle, right? And then uh, I'll, I'm using pickle to uh, pickle.dump to save the model, right? Just like we were doing earlier on. All right, so if I do that, you can see that it has been exported over here for me, right? So from that um, pickle. So here, what you can do is to download this, right? Download this one. Remember that earlier on, I made you create um, this Netflix recommendation, um, I mean, folder, right? So go inside there and then save it inside. Okay, save it inside there. So that's it. Now, if you go to your desktop um, and then you open that one, the folder that I made you create right now, you see that it's there, right? Transform.picker. 
now it, it has been it has been um, saved in that folder for you. That's it. Now um, the next thing that I want to do is to um, is to also use this train um, test split right on the x and then y. Okay, because I'm going to use naive base to also make the prediction, right? What I just did, the transform.pickle is going to transform this comment, right? It's going to transform this comment part. And then um, after after I have transformed this um, comment part, right? After I've transformed this comment part, I want to use um, um, naive base to make the prediction, whether it's a good comment or is a bad comment, right? So I'm done with this. Transforming this part, I'm going to use naive base to do this part as well. All right, so that's that's why um, I'm doing this part also. Right? X, I'm using train test split that I'm, I'm passing in the X and then the Y over here. Test size is goes twenty percent for testing and then eighty percent for training. Random state equals forty two because I am going to uh, randomly shuffle the data set over here, right, and then um, do it over and over again. But I want the same data set each time I run the notebook. Right, the same um, set of, um, um, I mean, splitting. All right, then I'll have my X train, S test, Y, y train, and then Y test. All right, now once, once I have this, I can now use the naive base over here, right, to make the prediction. So um, we have naive base dot multinomial NAB, right? Then um, I do the fitting on the X train and then the Y train, right? These are common things that we've been doing over and over again. So I'm sure these are just things that you already know. So now our model is the CLF over here, right? Um, if we check the accuracy of that, we can see that we have 97% of that, right? You can see over here, when we make the prediction and check the accuracy on the testing data, you can see that we are making 97%, which is pretty good, right? Now, uh, what I'm going to do is to save that model as well, right? So pickle.dump and then the model is here. And then I'm going to name it as NLP model dot I mean, you can name it anything that you want, right? I'm just going to name it the nlp.model.pickle, right? Um, then I'll save that one. So that is why if you run that one, you, then you get nlp. Dot, I mean, nlp underscore model.pickle over here, right? Now download this one as well, right? Download this one over here to the same folder, right? Download this one to the same folder that I made you um, create. That is this one, right? Save it over there. Great. Now, if you go back and then check, now you see that we have um, NLP underscore model over there. We have transform dot um, pickle. Then then the new underscore data dot csv. These are the things that we we're doing earlier on, right? Now, um, there's one more thing I want you to download over here. If you go here for the 2020 data, I remember that I told you this 2020 data is just the same thing as the one we did for. The same thing as the one we did for 2018 and then um, 2019, right? Just um, they are all the same process, right? We just change the URL, right? So if you have run this code, right? We have run this code. You should get this um, data set over here. This one, you should get this this uh, main underscore data dot csv, right? It should be present for you to um, download, right? Uh, I have not um, loaded this one. Let me see if I can just run it again and then get that data set. All right, I would need to, um, let me see, I would need to bring one more data over here. Let me go all the way down here and then see what I need to bring. Um, all the way down, all the way down, all the way down, all the way down. I would need to bring this final underscore data here. So let me go and bring it, uh, this one. Okay, good. Now it's loading down here, right? Once it gets, so if you're going to run this one, make sure you bring that, um, you, of course you're going to need that data, right? That is, that final underscore data contains the, um, all the data up to 2019, right? Now we are going to add the data up to 2020, right? That's why I'm bringing that one here so that we can add all of them together, right? We can um, add all of them together over here. Right, and then we create one final data set, which is going to be the main underscore data dot csv. Right, so the, I just want to run this notebook so that I'll get this um, main underscore data dot csv, and then I'll download it. Okay, now that it's here, I'm going to run everything. I'm just going to take a couple of seconds, or I mean, a couple of maybe a minute or two, and then um, everything will be done. Right, you can see that it's running. 
once it's done, uh, we can easily download the um, the final data set. I mean, the main underscore data dot CSV, right? Great, great. Now um, everything has run. So let me refresh this. Now you see that we have the main underscore data dot CSV over here. So I'm just going to do this and then download it. Okay. All right, so um, download it to the same folder that you created, right? Then save it inside there. Great. So now we have all the data set that we want, right? So we have um, the main underscore data, I mean, dot .csv also over here, right? So this is how, this is what, I mean, so far we have, right? These are the things that we have so far. Now, um, after this, the only thing that we need to do is to now go to the i mean starts doing the um deployment right because now we are done with the data preparation and everything right so in the next video i'm going to show you what we are going to do in order to start the building um this this part right building this application okay i'm going to show you how we can start to build this application so see you in the next tutorial